talked about this. Uh, I often uh, find uh, there are some people is who send out their manuscripts for reviews who uh, if you read those manuscripts, it will feel as if they were uh, writing it while they were lying on their bed and they just wanted to write something and so they have written and it would it would feel that they it was like a first rough draft. They did not even bother about revising it, correcting for spellings, grammatical errors inconsistent font can so you uh, so there are papers which have first page is written in times new roman second page is written in courier font and then i felt bored writing in courier font, font so i chose arial and so on so this is this is absolutely no no you should never ever send out papers to journals which are first rough drafts they you have only increasing your chances of getting rejected that way grammatical errors typo errors improper citation of sources missing references improper referencing style uh, i i remember i was reviewing a paper for a journal and the author was repeatedly referring to one paper saying that I have borrowed, I have built on this study. This is a very important study in this area. So I, after reading two, three pages, I got curious and I said, what is this paper? Who wrote this? Which journal? So I went to the references section of the paper and uh, you would be surprised to know that that paper was missing from the references. So the author was talking a lot about those papers, that paper particularly. And when it comes to putting that in the references section, that paper was not even there mentioned in that. So this is this only shows that we are careless and we are we did not pay attention to how we were preparing uh, our manuscript. Improper referencing style, there are different journals have different uh, referencing styles there is the most popular is the american psychological association referencing style which is called as the apa style if any other journal has another way of formatting its references and citations they will tell you that so you should go and look at the journal uh, page I will just show you if you go to the journal page and you, for example, let's say you look for personal review of Emerald and you want to look at uh, this. So this journal will have a section on the home page. It will have right for this journal and on this, they will have author guidelines. So please look up author guidelines, okay? And they will tell you how do you have to write. So submitting an article to personal review, okay? Uh, copyright forms and yes. So if you look at manuscript requirements, it will tell you what is the format Article length should be between 6,000 to 8,000 words in length. Article title, not more than eight words. Bibliographies, abstract, how do you have to write the abstract? You should have a purpose, design method, approach, findings, research implications, practical implications, social implications, originality and value. Similarly, they will also talk about how do you have to uh, format your citation. So in this case, it says that we follow Harvard style, right? And how do you have to do it? If you have a book, you should cite it this way. If you have a book chapter, you should cite it this way. If you have a journal article, you should, you should uh, reference it in this manner and so on. 
so please when you are writing for if you are preparing your manuscripts please follow proper uh, citation styles proper referencing styles uh, usually i would i would recommend that when you are uh, writing your uh, manuscripts start by uh, using apa style and then if you have if you already have some journal for which you are you want to target it go and look for its uh, referencing and citation styles if you do not have any journal uh, uh, in mind while you are writing the manuscript maybe just go ahead and look for apa uh, style and prepare it consistently across sir i have a question Yes. uh which is the right way uh, to write the paper i mean just uh, you know you have to first target the journal and then start writing it accordingly or just write it and then according to the journal just uh, make the changes you can do it both way if people can do uh, do it both way usually i would start by thinking about some tentative journal that i want to target so usually i because i am i have Uh, uh i have been reading that literature for some time i know the kind of data i have the kind of results i have got the kind of research design that i have followed so what i would do is i would have tentative ideas of uh, journals that i would like to target i would go to those journals read a few articles from those journals and see which journal suits my paper the best and then or or the idea that i have in mind the methods that i have followed and then i would zero on to one journal and start writing for it so that is that is the way i would uh, like to uh, follow it is also possible a lot of people do that is you first develop a paper okay don't even bother about thinking about uh, a journal to start with develop the paper and once you are ready with that paper you can then start to look for uh, which journals you want to uh, which journal specifically you would like to send this paper to and then change the citation and the referencing style so both so both ways are possible it is purely matter of your convenience thank you sir okay so uh, what is a citation and what is a reference can can anybody tell me what is the difference between these two things in a paper uh, so citation is where in the literature when we quote somebody uh, we write uh, you know like for us at all and then the year and yes. reference at the end when you know when you refer the paper you write the complete reference which yes. journal which year what is the paper number and all that yes. absolutely so a reference citation is is this where you cite the authors okay this is called as a citation and if you go to the end if you go to the end of this uh, paper where you are citing the the whole uh, paper this is called as a as a reference and this section is called as the references for the for the paper right so that is that is what we have to uh, so that's the difference between a citation so there is a citation style as well as a referencing style so they will tell you uh, the journals will tell you how do you have to so your so for example if you look at personal review it says you should cite publications in text using first name author's name or adams and brown citing both names of two or adams at all when there are three or more authors at the end of the paper a reference list in alphabetical order should be supplied uh, one question uh, brinda here Yes. now in case of uh, uh, in case of uh, citations in a, a proposal research proposal or dissertation that you're doing 
Yes. Uh, does it need to be uh, if three or more authors need to be named, or it can be done as et al. For example, Batilana and uh, et al. Oh, uh, Virinda, that depends upon uh, the citation style and the referencing style being followed. So you should get access to the citation and referencing style of your university from wherever you are doing your PhD. They will have a guideline if they mention nothing mm. uh, if there is no such thing that your university or college has then in that case the uh, for our disciplines OBHR psychology and, and so on a better way is to start with the American Psychological Association style okay. now the American Psychological Association citation style is if you have three or more authors okay if there are two authors then there is no question you will have to cite it like this okay right. so if you have let me just uh, uh, if you have if you have two authors then they will cite you will cite it as in apa style you will cite it as this this is the uh, apa style or you will write it as Adams and Brown okay and if you have more than three authors three or more than three first time you will cite all the three names okay but post that after the first citation you will always write it as Adams at all right so, so that depends on uh, the way different citation styles uh, work and you can actually look for on Google if you want to know how does it look. So you can just look for APA style 6th edition and it will come out for you and it shows how this referencing style happens. and uh, it gives you how you have to quote how you have to uh, uh, this is yeah this is how you have to reference okay at the end of the paper and uh, yeah these are journal articles chapters yeah. so there are lots of uh, Poonam here. Uh, sir, in Google Scholar, they give that, uh, they already frame that in uh, APA style, how it's that different style. So taking it from there, is it fine? That is fine. That is fine. Absolutely fine. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I will just demonstrate you the Mendeley software where uh, it will automatically do it for you. Right? So uh, I'll just show it in a while when we do the Mendeley software. Okay, and then improper and inconsistent use of headings, subheadings. Uh, does anybody know what is a level one, level two, level three heading in a paper? Uh, level one uh, will relate to the major section in a manuscript, like introduction, review of literature. Level yes. two will be inside so, that section, like 2.2, a particular construct we're okay. talking about. This will be level one heading, introduction. And then if you go down this so theory and research hypothesis is level one heading. This is going to be your level two heading. And then if you have something else, yeah. So method is level one, sample is level two, measures is level two, and organization justice here is level three heading. So all these guidelines they even tell you how you have to format level one level two level three heading so you have to follow that when you are preparing your manuscript improper use of abbreviations do not abbreviate uh, any word abbreviations actually are useful but they also make reading complex so you should always be judicious in how many abbreviations you use in the paper and at least always not at least always 
the first place where you create that abbreviation please give it very clearly right at the first place so for example if you are saying american psychological association then wherever you wrote american psychological association for the first time in the paper give the abbreviation there which is apa and then use it subsequently don't just give an abbreviation without explaining what does it mean right and the finally missing page number so these are some of the things that we need to keep in mind when we are preparing